Welcome back to another video. This is an update walk around on my 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ80 non triple lock. For anyone that's new and haven't followed the bill, I'll give you guys an update. I haven't done much to it lately, but I figured I'd just give you guys an overall update of what the rig has so you guys can get an idea or inspiration from it. So, 95 non triple lock but it does have center diff lock and also i just installed a grizzly rear locker the grizzly rear lockers are automatic it's a mechanical device so whenever you're driving straight it locks up and then when you're making a turn it unlocks i'm sitting on some 33s tires are 295 70 17 evolution uh cooper evolution nts and these are 17 inch wheels. These are originally, uh, the wheels are originally uh, Lexus 470 stock wheels. Has snorkel, has rigid uh, ditch lights and front and rear bumper custom made welded onto the frame. <coughs> Those were all done before I bought this vehicle by the previous owner. The only thing I did was uh, all the other stuff has a roof rack this is a 64 inch max hall roof rack i made a video on that already i'm thinking about replacing the legs though because i want to get a set of legs that has um one two three four maybe like four legs total on each side and i found out that they don't make these anymore these are smitty builds <coughs> so these are the tires i bought these news for 600 bucks and when I bought them used, they were still in really good shape. Plenty of treads. I love them. They're super quiet. Uh, for right, lots of great tractions. And then the rear tire, the spare tire is the same thing. Same tire, same wheel setup. And then this one here, I bought it in use, or I bought it new. So this is a brand new spare. We have the trash bag. This one's from Haimo, Amazon, like 30 bucks has the carrier already the tire spare carrier that was all built in when I got it here's the bumper with the XRC 9500 from Smitty Belt synthetic rope and then the headlights the headlight bulbs has been replaced with the aux beam LED much way better than stock halogen all new axle rebuild everything's fresh i do have to replace these tie rods they're not super bad but they were kind of wearing out they have those uh replacement already i just haven't installed them yet gonna wait till springtime this is it right here Rigid. These were already installed here when I got them. I just went ahead and bought these amber covers. These guys just slip on and off, just like that. So these are always good for daytime or when you're driving through snow, rain. Pretty much, I've done a full baseline on it. I've done a baseline already. Change all the fluids. I still had to flush the transmission fluid. I still have to flush the power steering and all that fun stuff. But overall, it's clean. It's good. Clean interior. I told you guys that it's not triple lock. But I still went ahead and bought the switch. You can buy the OEM switch on Amazon, eBay for like 60 bucks. So I bought this switch just for aesthetic look. Just to make it look cool but it's a it's just a dead switch it's not a real logger <coughs> this is for the uh amber this is for the uh ditch light yeah. <coughs> steering wheel cover i went and bought a new cover this is very nice the original steering is pretty dirty so this is like 10 bucks totally worth it makes it feel much better feels cleaner looks better and seat covers these came on with the vehicle already console 
and then this is the CDL switch, center diff lock switch. You gotta buy that switch and then plug it in. And then I also done the seven pin mod. That's really nice. <laughs> so far, no leaks on the sunroof. It's been raining here and there and <laughs> I haven't got any leaks or anything like that, so that's good. <laughs> Couldn't use a new windshield, but not worried about that right now. Gotta fix that speaker cover. Previous owner did some Bondo, so I'm not sure why, but maybe there's some rust or something. This vehicle does have some rust. It's not major rust, but just like surface rust. But nothing too crazy. I got my high lift jack in here. I gotta find a way to mount that in the back of my tail soon. Probably build another carrier for that. All my soft shackles. And then I have all my camera gear right now because I'm doing a wedding. Shooting a wedding here next couple minutes, next couple hours. Everything's clean, man. <clears throat> I replaced these bulbs with LED bulbs. They're much brighter. <laughs> and then third row seats has been removed um, just for more room. And then in the summertime, <clears throat> I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the third row seat belts just because I don't need them anymore. And if I ever do any long trips, if I plan to do any long weekend trip by myself, I'll go ahead and remove these second row seats just for more room. Because they're super easy to remove, just four bolts on each seat. This is it right here. Pretty pretty. You can see there's plenty of room for one more carrier. And this summer I want to build another swing out. And that will hold my high lift, my gas jugs, and maybe like water jugs and stuff. So that's it right there. Windshield wiper works and I just found out that my windshield fluid bottles does work on the, on the rear. My rear one wasn't spraying but for some reason it all suddenly works now so that's good. <coughs> this right here is my rear differential breather. It just comes up and hang out like right here on the inside. But that's what it looks like right there. And again, the previous owner did a full exhaust work, so they put a new, uh, all the exhaust from here to the Cadillac, it's all brand new, so it has all good piping, no rust and stuff. Super quiet, which is what I like. And I have to do more tune-up. <laughs> There's still a lot of tune-up in the engine bay that I have to do, like valve cover seals, all the seals in the front, front main seal, rear main seal. I still gotta do all that and then i want to get uh sliders rock sliders eventually maybe this summer or next summer and then there's some clear coat but no big deal not a, doesn't bother me that much love my land cruiser it's a beauty probably put some tape on that and the previous owner they did the uh the bed lining I'm not a fan of it but i think there's a reason why they did it because you can see that there's some rust behind it so that's probably why they did it rust protection or prevention hood's a bit dinged up here and there but again i'm not worried it's not a garage queen not a show car so and the bumper is a bit rusty the bumper was all uh the bumper had a bunch of surface rust when i bought it i did a quick spray paint on it but then it's already coming off but uh, this spring, I'll go ahead and sand it and then uh, put some PR fitting. If you guys don't know what PR fitting is, go ahead and do a quick search on that. <coughs> Give you guys a quick look in the engine bay. And talk a little bit more about what I plan to do to the engine bay. We're just going to keep it stock. We're not going to do any turbo or anything like that. <coughs> we just want to keep it Toyota stock and, and uh, reliable. Fresh new battery from Walmart. This is the Everstart Plus 24F. These two wires are the wires for the winch, positive, negative, and these is the LED. And then this wire here is my breather line for the front axle. I just went ahead and replaced the front and the rear with the new hose. And then also has the breather. This lets air out doesn't let air or water in so that's how they work if you don't have this you can just leave the hose open but then moisture and stuff can get inside of it so you can buy these online cost like six bucks a piece 
and um, went ahead and did new rotors, distributor cap, or cap rotors, wires, and spark plugs already. And then bought this on eBay. This is the radiator nipple guard. This protects this wire right here. <coughs> this coolant hose. Um, did a new brake pad, so new fluids already, new brake fluids already. <coughs> and then you can see here, the valve cover leaks a little bit. In the summertime, I'll go ahead and remove the radiator, clean the radiator, flush the radiator. And then while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and work on the front engine. I'm going to do valve covers, check the valve clearance, do valve covers, do all the seals, front main seal, rear main seal, or the front seals, and then the oil pump seals, and all that fun stuff. And also, I'm going to do the water pump. <coughs> I have the water pump already. All the parts that I'm talking about, I have the parts already, just not doing them yet because it's not summer yet. <laughs> Um, water pump <coughs> front main seal i'm gonna do all new builds i have brand new builds already toyota built um, alternator built these builds are in okay condition so i'll probably just keep these in the truck for spares when i take them off and then ac works good so we're just gonna go ahead and keep the ac the way it is and then clean all that up just all junk and then i might go ahead and do the intake gaskets um, remove the intake manifold because I know that the manifold to the downpipe it has a small leak on the downpipe <laughs> so I have new gaskets for that already <clears throat> and then went ahead and did the Slee off-road windshield, uh, windshield bottle reservoir relocation this usually belongs right here I have a full I have a full video on my channel about that and eventually this summer I'll go ahead and do my um, dual battery setup so we'll do that too <laughs> has a new fresh Toyota air filter the nice thing is that toyota they make an air filter that's washable so you can wash it reuse it tons of time and then when i do my whole engine baseline <laughs> i'm gonna take the intake manifold off as well i'm gonna clean the throttle body and i'm gonna clean the intake plenum <laughs> and then we'll put new gaskets on that as well and then while this is off we might go ahead and put a new fuel filter because the fuel filter is located like right below here so it's super hard to get to and then while that's off we might as well just take the injectors and just maybe clean them and put new uh injector seals so yeah it's gonna be a lot of not a lot of work but it's just gonna be a nice baseline tune-up pesky heater hose i replaced that already so i removed the pesky heater hose and then i also removed the hard line metal for the pesky heater and this goes from the pesky heater hose where it goes to the cylinder straight to the firewall <laughs> so that's all done already this right here is the relay switch for the leds and then this right here is your engine harness it's leaning on the egr that's the wire harness it's leaning on the egr pipe which is hot so you can see here, I wrapped it with some heat tape, which is heat resistant. So you want to make sure you do that because I've seen people burn up their harness and that's, that can be a big issue. I figure I might not do the EGR delete because maybe one day I might move down south and I might take this vehicle with me where emission is required. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the EGR the way it is. But overall, guys, I'm really happy with this engine or this vehicle i love it it's a great vehicle like i said the only downside is just the gas mileage but if you can get beyond that get over that then it's totally fine but other than that man it's it's great the clutch fan still works fine spins freely spins good and um even the water pump might be good but again i want to just go ahead and replace that i might even go ahead and get a new denso radiator um the only reason why I want to get a new radiator is because this nipple right here, the nipple that comes out, that's broken. So there's only like maybe like that much where this hose is hanging on to. And mostly the hose is in there because of the tension, the thickness of it. But we'll see what happens. But this is it, guys. I like it. This is the 1FZFE inline 6. So that's it for the engine bay. If you guys think I missed anything out, let me know. The previous owner, when I bought it, they said that they did the head gasket 4,000 miles ago. So when I bought the vehicle, it had 226,000. So around 220 or 222,000 around that time frame. It got a new head gasket. So 
Um, they did have a receipt for it too. They had like a mechanic did it, so they wrote a receipt. So I'm assuming it's legit. But so far, I'm not gonna mess with the head gasket. So this is it guys, the 95 Land Cruiser. If you guys are in the market for one, hopefully this video helps you guys get some inspiration, um, helps you guys learn a little bit more about the Land Cruiser 80 series. And if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I gotta get going now, so I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you guys can follow the Instagram nutty new underscore four by four, where I keep you guys updated on my rig, my adventures, yeah, and just some knowledge here and there share with you guys. Talk to you guys next time.